Good morning, lovelies. Um, it's July 19th, very early in the morning. I've just put the tea kettle on. Um, so this is before tea, so mind you that. Um, <laughs> it is the middle of summer, which means I'm about to show you the garden, and I've been really excited to show you the garden this year. There have been many changes for myself, and I really feel like I've finally put all the things that I have learned into the garden uh so it's been such a really great year and i'm still learning because i've planted new plants every year i try new things i try new tomatoes um so the only thing that i've got in the garden that i've done before have been herbs and my dwarf gray sugar peas and i've just got a few carrots coming up so um, I've changed some things this year, including I brought in the fence. Uh, we used to have about a foot of grass inside the garden and <laughs> weeds. So it's a lot easier to cut the grass in the yard now. And I have an entire door made from the extra yardage of the fence. I've also mulched, which has been the best thing I've done all year. <laughs> I could rave and rave about mulch. Um, so let me take you guys inside and I can show you the plants because there's a lot going on right now since we're in the middle of July. So you can see there's the extra bit I've been using for a door. Uh, this is the beginning of the garden guys. So don't mind that compost bag. Just seems appropriate there so the dog can't attack it. Um, at the very beginning, I have my little herb garden. The cilantro is finally dwindling off, but in its place is a chamomile plant that just happened to pop up. I bought my herbs at uh, Urban Harvest, so yep. So there we have cinnamon basil, and I've got some English thyme I can see popping up there finally, and some Genovese basil. Um, this little sign here is courtesy Victoria. I finally found a spot for it, Victoria, right beside Dill, which I know you can't stand, but, um, it's going to seed anyways, so <laughs> it's been a hot summer. Um, this has been a lot of fun with the herbs. Every now and then I'll come out and make something like a lemon basil chicken, which turns out fantastically. Um, Right at the front here, at the very beginning of the season in spring, I had spinach all lined up here, but now I have carrots. So in this little patch here, you can see itty bitty, I hope you can, little green bits popping up everywhere. Those are Parisian carrots. Nope, little fingers, I'm getting myself mixed up. Little finger carrots are planted here, and on the right here I have Parisian carrots. I did a ton this year, um, and I'm really excited. Ooh, I see beans. There's a surprise for your morning. This lovely plant here that you can see is, I hope, doesn't topple over because we've had some pretty strong winds lately, is my dwarf gray sugar peas. They have the most lovely flowers when they bloom. If I can take you in there. You guys have probably seen this in my garden before because this is the only plant other than the carrots that I've kept. And it's doing really well this year. Like look at all these little sugar snappies. So excited. I would pluck one off and eat it right now, but uh, you need two hands for that. <laughs> This is one that I actually want to send you, Rachel. I don't know if you're watching right now, but of course you are. Um, I think you would love this plant. It doesn't take too much care. You can see here, I have literally just let it go and hang on to itself like crazy. I don't know if you can. You could from the other side. But it just, it just, wherever it wants to grab, it grabs. And you don't need much space, as you can tell. So been dying to send you some seeds so let me know if you want me to. Anywho, further into the garden here, because it is now July, um, you can see some new little things popping up here, which is what surprised me. These are provider green beans. 
um, a little while ago because these are new to me I planted some more for a fall crop I'm really excited because these are new I have never grown a bush bean and um, I love it it takes up almost no space at all which you will see uh, these little itty bitties here which I hope last through the heat wave that is coming are kale plants I did some rainbow kale <laughs> mind my nails they're terrible weed um, <laughs> uh, hopefully they last through and they grow up all right these guys I know you can probably tell these are tomatoes um, these were like surprise tomatoes <laughs> I planted marigolds and then these came out of the package as well I don't know if they came out of the violas or the marigolds they came out of somewhere uh, right here is a plant that's been really interesting to me and now I can finally describe the smell to you this is sacred basil and it has sort of a smell like a very sweet almost uh, anise smell sometimes it's really it's got like a lavender smell to it I don't know how to describe it but it I've never smelt a basil like this ever um, it makes a fantastic tea when you feel like having the flowers as a tea um, beside it is this guy which you can see here he's got some big fruit on him um, this is a blue ugh, black sea man tomato or blue sea man tomato one of those I'll correct myself it's doing really nicely and it's not too big and I've only staked it this year I haven't actually put any baskets around them even with the wind they have withheld themselves and kept them afloat which I'm really happy about uh, this little beast here is one I cannot pronounce um, it's got tons of fruit already on it you can kind of see everywhere many branches I have to come out and prune this guy oh, I see a random chamomile flower <laughs> sorry um, this one actually I have to get the package out um, both of these tomatoes I bought from Gala Trails shop and this is the name of this particular one I don't know if you can see the scientific name there it won't focus but I can't pronounce it it's not happening um, but it should create white delicious fruit it's got plenty of flowers on it right now it's exploding and I'm really proud of this one um, even for such a small bush type tomato it has really contained itself marvelously next I have some opacas that I grew because my romas decided to die in a heat wave so that's what they look like right now and I've got two of those staked up I really should double check these guys they look like they might be getting black bottom from the heat wave so see what's happening there and right here are the ones I think I'm most excited about this year because they are also a new plant to me um, hopefully you can see if I watch where I'm going with the camera beans provider green beans um, I had to ask Rachel for advice on these ones at some point because they weren't growing taller and I was very confused they don't grow tall do you see how small these are look so teeny um, I've really enjoyed growing these and coming out into the garden. They are actually, they've got tons of beans on here and they're just still going. Um, so it's been really interesting coming in the garden every day, making sure the squirrels aren't stealing my fruit. <laughs> uh, <laughs> fruit. Food, guys, sorry. <laughs> um, at the very end here, I've got some plants that will then come back next year. I've got some chamomile which I have really been enjoying you can see there so beside it I have some chives that aren't doing as well 
should plant some more but every time I put seed out they never take um, any advice for chives guys <laughs> next to it I have some Munsteed lavender which I'm not particularly fond of it hasn't bloomed at all yet so I'm going to look for some new lavender next year but these two I can't wait for next year strawberries are a kind of plant that you really have to wait for if you want a better crop the next year so here I have a temptation strawberry by my toes and above it I have an alpine strawberry um, I have been plucking any flowers that I see show up. I've had a few that have gone to fruit and the squirrels have enjoyed them. So next year, cages. Um, other than that, everything's sort of making its way up now in the garden. Behind the beans here, I did an extra row of new seeds for a fall crop of beans. And you can see along the paths even with all the weeds I have now, it is nowhere near as bad as it was. Um, you can see much better along the fence, hopefully, the new mulch I've put in. It's brown and I just like stomped it down. That was the best thing I could have done. We came out here and we ripped out every single weed that we could find and it was like hours of work. Let's just make our way through here. Sorry guys, I'll eat you later. <laughs> So there it was guys, I hope to share my harvests all summer along with you guys uh, through Instagram so if you don't follow me there definitely follow me. I have been posting tons of pictures because the neighborhood has been really loud lately. It's just been a really busy summer for many people so every time I've tried to get out into the garden to do a video it's been noisy or people have been outside because why not enjoy the outdoors? I'm hoping to get a last video out in the garden when more things are happening, per se, uh, towards the carrots, because I think you guys would really enjoy seeing that and, and my harvesting of the tomatoes. Uh, sometimes that takes two hands, so we'll see if I can get a cameraman. My brother would not be very good at that. Anywho. If there are any questions that you guys have had with gardening for me, I would love to answer them. I'm not a pro, but I do know a thing or two, I hope. <laughs> I've been thinking about doing some particular science-y garden videos, which I think you guys would really enjoy for me, so that might happen as well if I can get out here with the camera. But until then, guys, I hope you're having a lovely summer, that you're enjoying the outdoors, be it in your garden or, you know, Pokemon Go, because I've totally lost my life to that. <laughs> Have a good day. Bye!